Welcome to the future of Colorado football. Yo, what's poppin', people? Your boy Snacks is back in the building with another banger. Buff Nation, what up? This is what's happening, man. This week, welcome to the Buffs Week in Review. And this is a new series we're going to start here. It's where we just recap everything that happens during the week from Monday to Sunday or Sunday to Monday, depending on how we feel it. And we just go over some things that I've covered, maybe some few other people covered, some things that I didn't cover, some things that I missed, and we pop it off right there. So we start the week off with Nick Gordon hopefully coming to Colorado, which we know during the week that didn't happen. And he ended up signing and getting the bag and going to Texas A&M. And the next thing that popped off during the week was Jordan Seaton. We did cover that again on why he made the decisions that he made coming to Colorado, you know, and we, we talked about that and King Joseph Edwards in the Under Armour All-Star game. And, and we went on during the middle of the week and tried to cover the new DC and who was going to be the defensive coordinator. And our thoughts on that. Was it going to be Ed Reed? Was it going to be Herm Edwards? Was it going to be Ray Lewis? Tony Dungy? Lovey Smith? You know, things of that nature. People coming into town just trying to figure out who's going to run the defense next. And guess what? We still ain't figured that out. So maybe we'll get some answers to that after the national championship game and these new players start entering the portal and things start moving along and matriculating and people getting to the business of football. As you know, we got players moving in this week and things getting better on that side of the ball. But we'll see what it is. And then we talked about LeJonte Wester coming to Colorado to visit. Matter of fact, he's here now. This weekend was his visit week. So hopefully that turns out good because the dude is a stud. Speedster. Return man. Over 100 catches during the season. One of the top wide receivers in his field. So hopefully that works out because we need that type of depth and that type of speed and the guys are game changer. Anybody that catches over 100 balls during the season in college, in a 12 team, in a 12 game season, oh yeah, you for sure beat. And then we talked about the message that Jordan Seaton had for the fans of Colorado, you know, that y'all need to stop swapping around stop jumping from side to side if you're gonna be a fan be a fan you know if not then do what it do and then we talked about jordan seaton and Draylon miller in both of their all-star games which jordan seaton's all-star game happened earlier in the week Draylon miller's all-star game happened yesterday and I don't know about that All-Star game. That quarterback kept overthrowing my boy, man. He wasn't letting him get his shine on, trying to do his thug thizzle out there. And then, as always, y'all know this going to happen a couple of times a week. On three with the hate. We did two videos on that. Y'all need to go check them out. Everything we talking about, we've covered during the week and done a video on. So check that out. And uh, go back and check out some of the videos that we dropped during the week. And, you know, but as for all three, they stay with the hate. Y'all know how that go. And then later on during the week, we talked about Jordan Seaton and his interview at the All-Star Game. He did a magnificent job with that, by the way. And then we talked about Coach J.R. Payne and her gift from the uh, Anthony Lawrence collection, her and her entire staff were gifted jackets from the Anthony Lawrence collection, which is a dope collection, by the way. They do a lot of CU stuff, and they have a uh, discount for anybody that wants to buy Colorado stuff, or they do a couple of other colleges, a bunch of HBCUs, 
bunch of P5s. You know, and Colorado has its own code for 40% off on every purchase. So if y'all want to do that, you know, grab you some CU gear. And it is what it is. But anyway, man, we're going to get out of here. We also talked about, you know, how Shadur's Heisman numbers were yesterday, which is crazy that his Heisman percentage is so low. Due to the fact that he's going to drop numbers this season with the improvement of the offensive line. It's going to be crazy, man. But anyway, we're going to get out of here, man. And we hope y'all have a good week. We're going to see what this week brings us. Hopefully, it's some good news. And we're going to leave y'all with Coach Prime dropping freestyles with him and Bucky. We out, man. God bless you. I'm not prime on pops. Huh. Watch how this beat drops. Huh. Watch how I get the flow. Until the prime time, you know. Ooh. I'm gonna get it again. Yeah. You know next year we gonna win. win. We gonna do some things. Dang. We gonna change the game. Huh. I recruit every day. Ooh. That's the way I play. Ooh. You know my game. Huh. I'm a Hall of Famer. Famer.